Arctic and Antarctic. We know that they are both cold and white, and that there is one at the edge of the end of the world. But which is which? We both think of them as similar. Of course, they do have loads and loads of things in common. And that they are the both the ice worlds of this world. Ice dwellers and snow dwellers think of ice as being cruel and heartless, the opposite of warmth and loving. Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale shows how a piece of magical shard of glass goes into the heart of a sunny-natured boy, making him frozen and inexplicable. There he is kidnapped by the heartless Snow Queen, where he forgets his family and goes to live in the Snow Queen's magnificent ice palace. There he learns to prefer the perfection of an ice crystal instead of a loving, lively rose. <laughs> Only the warm tears of a loving friend can melt the ice and restore the boy to his original state. <laughs> Ice may be the enemy of life, but however, in the polar regions, there are loads and loads of ices that can be beautiful. Billions and billions of snowflakes are packed together to make the thin sheets of snow. And just like fingerprints, no two are alike. <laughs> And in technical terms, there really are different types of snow. Just any winter influences of winter sports will ever tell you. Oh, slash! Oh, oh, S -s -s slide! All these thin sheets of snow compacts together into forming hard, solid ice, which will drift into the ocean and become part of an ice shelf. These heavy blocks and chunks of ice will start to fall off these outer ices and float away into the ocean, 